Hi guys, are you familiar with the timings these days? Yes, you must be. Because as soon as it becomes 7 in the clock, you rush to get up from the bed and get ready for the school. Right? So, at 7.30, it becomes time for you to get ready and do the breakfast. At 8 o'clock, it's time for you to get off to school. So, at 8.30, you must be reaching your school. So, at 8.30, you have reached your school. Now, at 9 a.m., it's time for you to start studying. So, you can see that you have started studying at 9. Now, the next is very interesting part which is the time for lunch. And the time for lunch is at 12.30 p.m. After this, one very important part of our life is the playtime. So, at 2.30 p.m., we have the playtime at school. Now, at 3 p.m., it's time for us to get back to home. So, at 3, we leave from school and we reach back home at 3.30. So, at 3.30, we have reached back home and we start throwing our things and getting relaxed at home. Right? Now, at 4 p.m., it's time for us to have some snacks. And snacks can be the very tasty ones. So, at 4.30, it's time for us to watch our favorite cartoon. Yes? At 5, it's time for us to go out and play. And that's with our friends. So, at 5 p.m., we go out in the park and garden around and play. At 6, it's time for us to finish our pending work, right? So, it's time for study. So, at 7, it's time for us to get the dinner. So, we do dinner at 7 p.m. At 7.30, it will be time for us to spend the time with our family. Yes, we sit with our family and we spend some time with them. At 8 o'clock, it's finally the time to get back to bed and say good night to everyone. So, that was about the different times. So, we have just discussed the time. That means in the clock, you can measure time in seconds, minutes and hours. So, you can see that when you blink your eyes like this, you do it in seconds. But when you are eating your food, you have to have minutes for that. After that, when you go to school and you start studying, you study for hours, unfortunately, but you have to. So, we are going to talk about the seconds, the minutes and hours. Here you can see the watching a movie. It needs the time period of some hours. We can clap our hands in some seconds. For reading a book, we can have some hours. For sleeping, we take some hours. For eating the food, we will take few minutes. To play with our friends, even some hours are not enough, right? And for studying, we take some hours. Now, this was about the time, that is the seconds, minutes and hours. Now, we are going to discuss about weeks, days, months and years. Are you familiar with them? You might or might not be, but you must be knowing about the calendar, right? So, what is a calendar? Calendar is like this. It has 12 months in total. So, let us count. We have the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh and twelfth. So, we have total 12 months in one year. Now, those months are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. So, these are the 12 months. Now, you can see over here there are some months that have 30 days only. And those months are April, June, September and November. There are some months that have 31 days. January, March, May, July, August. October and December and February is the shortest month of the year every time. So, we know that there is one week and one week has seven days. So, you can see over here Saturday, it can start from Saturday or Sunday but in total it is always having seven days. So, you can count the number of Saturdays in March. We have five Saturdays in March and we have only four Saturdays in October. Right? So, similarly, the number of Saturdays or number of days in any month can change. 
So now we know that one day has 24 hours and one hour has how many minutes? 60 minutes. You must have seen in the calendars some holidays written, right? So every year when we buy a new calendar, there are some holidays written, right? Now let us talk about age. Are you familiar with age? Now say Rhea was born on a date 8th of January 2004. What would be her age or how old is she going to be on June 8, 2011? So from 2004 to 2011, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 years. So she is 7 years old and we can still count the months that is from January to June. So January, February, March, April, May up to June. So we have total 5 months. So we can write over here 7 years and 5 months. So we can say that Rhea is 7 years and 5 months old.